Good morning, Barrel Buddies. This is the week of January 18th through January 22nd, 2021. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a barrel buddy. This week in history, United States Surgeon, Ger Surgeon General Luther Terry knew his report was a bombshell. He intentionally chose to release it on January 11th, 1964, a Saturday, so that so as to limit its immediate effects on the stock market. It was on the state that, on behalf of the U.S. government, Terry announced a definitive link between smoking and cancer. Information from history.com, this day in history. Celebrations this week. 8, 18 January, the Soros Day, 19 January, Popcorn Day, 20 January, Cheese Lovers Day, 21 January, Hugging Day, 22 January, Ask Your Cats Question Day. <laughs> Tech tip of the week. Don't ever give out any personal information like addresses, phone number, email, and etc. to unknown people on the internet. Barrow Buddies are brave. This week, we're focusing on the letter A. A stands for achiever. One way we can be achievers is asking and answering questions. Oh. oh my goodness. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principles of it. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Hope your day is off to a great start. Um, I have a lot of announcements today. One, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, this week. We're starting our third quarter of instruction, so we're about halfway through the school year. And we are remaining virtual for now while our COVID numbers are kind of high in our community. We wanna make sure we're keeping students and staff safe. So we will all be virtual. And some of you are gonna be rejoining your original homeroom classes this week. So I know you'll be excited to see um, your former teachers and classmates and your teachers will be excited to have you back as well. So we are beginning the third quarter of instruction at Barrow Elementary School. This week um, is also a few other events happening. Yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day and it was a school holiday. And I know that even though we're um, under different restrictions that there were some day of service activities in our community and you may have volunteered um, at one of those to help out our community or maybe you um, participated in the um, parade that was downtown. So there's lots of events that were still happen happening in a safe manner um, to celebrate the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. So that'd be a great thing for you to share during your morning meeting if you participated, or if you just have something you wanna share about Dr. Martin Luther King. One thing that you might wanna do this week is drive by our school because we have some quotes on our sign board. So check out the quotes we have that um, honor Dr. Martin Luther King as well. This week is also the inauguration of our new president, the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. So he will be sworn into office on Wednesday as part of the inauguration festivities. Um, and our new vice president, Kamala Harris, will be sworn in too. And I think it's significant that she is our first female vice president. So that's super exciting. And she's also our first black and South Asian American vice president. So that's um, awesome and a big um, event for us to view on um, Wednesday. I talked about attendance last week and just 
encourage you to make sure that you're in class every day. Um, and we had some classes that had at least two days of perfect attendance last week. So Ms. Barnard's class in pre-K, Ms. Clark's class in kindergarten, Ms. Wiz's class in first grade, and in fifth grade, we had Ms. Selk's class, Ms. Hinkle's class, and Ms. Bedgood's class, so great job. Fifth graders, boys and girls, we're starting a new quarter, which means new instruction, new things happening. You need to make sure you're in school every day. We don't want you to miss out. So please, please, please get on Zoom, connect with your class and make sure you're there for instruction. And then finally, I wanna congratulate our Spelling Bee winner, Patrick Coverdale, who did an awesome job in our school Spelling Bee, which we did virtually over Zoom. So Patrick will be um, participating next week in the district Spelling Bee. Our runner up is Laura Ahmed. So congratulations students and our Spelling Bee. Um, all of our participants did an awesome job in that virtual Spelling Bee. So those are my announcements for the week. Let's take a look at birthdays. Um, this week, happy birthday to Tenny Ness, Justice Faust, Caldwell Tuttle, Anna Ford, Ollie Cook, and Chesley Steele, and our teachers, Miss Mitchell and Miss Skinner. Happy birthday, buddies. We have a few shout outs this week. Miss Kim wants to give a shout out to her fourth grader. She being such bold and valuable members of our class. You are always willing to participate in our virtual class by answering questions and sharing your ideas. I'm so proud of you. Ms. Paschal wants to shout out um, her tribe for being so kind to each other and spreading good vibes during online learning. This morning, we put all kinds of things about each other um, in the chat and every single student participated to the nicest things about each other. I am honored to teach such a kind hearted group of students. Plus they're very hard workers too. The fifth grade teachers want to shout out all of our brave fifth grade leaders who are participating in discussions and chats, have their materials ready to go each day and are being really responsible with completing their work. We are so proud, but we are so proud of these achieving fifth grade buddies. Hello, I, I have a question of the week. So which do you like more, virtual or in person? I also want to say that the weekly something something has made a new link and their articles are really fun. Make sure to read them. Before we leave, let's say our Barrow Honor Code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that's the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Mm -hmm. 